The burned wreck of Daphne Caruana Galicia's car lies in a Maltese field, flung over a wall by an explosion which killed the crusading journalist. It is inherent in the kind of work that journalists are doing in uncovering corruption that they are in danger. And um, unfortunately, this, is, this has led to murder. There are some 70 journalists a year that are killed, and many of them are targeted deliberately. In fact, the majority of them are targeted deliberately because they are covering such things as corruption. Caruana Galicia was at the center of often fiery anti-corruption campaigns in Malta. Some of her allegations were based on revelations in the so-called Panama Papers leak in 2015. Over 11 million documents gave details of the personal financial information of wealthy people. Some are said to have shown evidence of fraud, as well as evasion of tax and international sanctions. Earlier this year, Caruana Galicia said the wife of Malta's Prime Minister, Joseph Muscat, was the owner of a company in Panama. Caruana Galicia claimed large sums of money had moved between the company and bank accounts in Azerbaijan. The Prime Minister and his wife denied the accusation. The Prime Minister called and won early elections in June as a vote of confidence to counter Caruana Galicia's allegations. In a tweet on Monday, he said, this is a spiteful attack on a citizen and freedom of expression. I will not rest until justice is done. The country deserves justice. In the town of Sliema, crowds have gathered to pay their respects to a reporter who they believed held powerful people to account. Um, as a Maltese citizen, I think Daphne was not only a journalist and an absolutely fearless human being, but um, a fourth pillar of our democracy and the, today's heinous crime was was not only against the human being, against the journalist, but against a pillar of, of everyone's democracy. Caruana Galicia's website, called Running Commentary, is said to have been one of the most widely read on the island. In one of her final posts, she wrote, there are crooks everywhere you look now. The situation is desperate. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.